Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X. Welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Dream Team. The last episode, we uh, found Big Massive finally and we rescued a whole bunch of pillows. But in this episode, we're going to take a break from uh, actually talking to Big Massive and going on a tour. We're actually going to do the side quests of Wake Park that I've been mentioning for quite a few episodes. So we'll have two episodes of this. First of all, we're going to get this final pillow and there's actually a kind of see there's a couple beans back there as well uh, those will be the last beans and pillows of Wakeport I do believe and then we're gonna go ahead and help Kylie Koopa out of this episode in the next episode we'll do the train quest and the mad skillathon so if you're uh, not looking forward to side questy stuff I guess uh, skip a couple episodes and the main plot will be resuming then but for now let's solve this first uh, panel puzzle thing and get to that final pillow. Should not take too long. The bulk of this video will definitely be the Kali uh, side quest because that is a rather involved affair. Uh, this puzzle, you kind of just basically have to slowly rotate all three of these at the same time for this to work out. It's it's a bit of a of a process. Eventually, you'll get them all rotated into the right spots, and life will be good. As I keep accidentally mini Marioing myself, that's gonna happen more often than I would like. Alas, there is not much of a choice there. Come on, stop. Would it, have been e would it have been easier to rotate in them in the other direction? Is that even possible? I'm not quite sure. Probably would have been easier to do it that way, though. Oh well, we've committed to this. We have no choice. We have to bring these around the long way. It's okay. Eventually the puzzle will be solved. I'm fairly sure it would have been quicker if I had just done it the other direction, but... I, as usual, am a total doof. But that's okay. You all love me anyway. So, this should just be a fairly... Uh-oh, this is going to actually get in the way. You, get out of here. Get over here. Okay, this one's set up and ready to go. This one's set up and ready to go. And this one's set up and ready to go. So yeah, as long as you just rotate all three of them at roughly the same pace, Eventually, it all just works out and the puzzle will be solved. It's just kind of a lengthy process. But, with that, it should open the gate. The last pillow will be back here. And, uh, we'll be able to get it. Rescue the pillow. Get the beans. And we'll actually visit Eldream today as well, because that's actually going to be just enough pillows for us to get... That's going to be exactly enough pillows for us to get any reward. Not that the reward is anything really that necessary. The stuff we're going to get in this episode really are just going to pale in comparison to the stuff we're going to get next episode. Oh, by the way, since we're done with all the beans, uh, I do believe maximum beans is 6 out of 12. There's actually quite a few beans you're not going to be able to get on your first uh, run through here. I'll double check to make sure that's correct, by the way, but I'm pretty sure 6 out of 12 is, was the number I was looking for. But we should have a whole bunch of beans to give to our bros. Although I should be waiting probably till uh, the end of this episode, because we're going to get some other cool stuff as well. But we'll deal with that accordingly. Uh, we'll just go ahead and give our bros everything for now. It's no big deal. So, this goes to that, that goes to that. I'll give the uh, bro beans closer to when we actually fight a boss, just to even out any numbers that we uh, need to do. And now we go ahead and enter this pillow and uh, do what we need to do with the dream world. This one should, as far as I remember, be a fairly quick one because there's no enemies, I do believe. If there was enemies, I could work towards excellent 10, but I don't think I can, and uh, I think it's a pretty simple one. From what I remember, it's been a while since I practiced this, but I should refresh myself fairly quickly. Uh, and then, well, apparently we just head over to the left first. There's four of these things. Which one is this again? It looks like, oh, this looks like a, I was going to say, yep, it's Luigi Nary Generator time. Should be a fairly easy one to get. Uh, actually, yeah, this is just one about with the ground pound and the spring jump. So, spring jump up here. Ooh, I see some coins over there, and I do say that I would like to have them. There's actually an item over here as well, and I would like to have that as well. Lucky gloves! Oh, that's right, this is where you get the lucky gloves! Oh, these lucky gloves are fantastic. Once we have an extra gear slot, this is going to be a really, really good glove for Luigi. In fact, this is probably the glove I'm going to have for Luigi most of the time. Also, by the way, I got these from uh, the... Coco Spear Guys, Coco Knights, whatever the heck they're called. They give you more experience if you, de if you defeat a bro with a bros or a legionary attack. Pretty simple, but the Lucky Gloves basically gives you increased percentage chance of getting lucky hits, which on top of Luigi's fairly high stash count and the fact that we're very much inflating his stash count uh, will allow him to get 
Lucky hits a pretty good portion of the time, which is exactly what we want to go for. Luigi's not going to have that much power, but he's going to crit a whole lot, and that is kind of the point. So, uh, with all of that, that should hopefully work out to our favor. Uh, there's nothing else really up here worthwhile, so we just have to head down this way and spring jump up to this last one. And that takes care of that. But there we go, Lucky Gloves! One, as soon as we have a glove slot, I mean the guard shell is more important for now, but the moment we get another gear slot, that's going on Luigi, that's probably staying on Luigi for most of the game. So, uh, we're almost actually pretty good with our bro setups right now. We'll obviously get some really, really powerful stuff in the late game, but uh, for the majority of the game, we're actually going to be having the same accessories and gloves, which is kind of funny. Anyway, that takes care of the third and final pillow we can get in Wakeport. The other three pillows on the pillow screen is six pillows in Wakeport total. But the other three we cannot access yet. It'll happen in our second run through uh, the area. Anyway, all of these pillows really want to enjoy the town. I wonder how the townspeople are going to react to random pillows suddenly coming to life. It's going to be quite the shock for the tourists, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, we're total puzzle masters. Speaking of puzzles... Let's go visit Kylie, because she has some puzzles with the deal of. She asked us to be our assistants, and today we're going to accept that job, and it's going to start a pretty uh, major side quest that we're going to be dealing with throughout most of the game, so... I believe she's right here, correct? Correct. Hello, Kylie! If you try to talk to Kylie, by the way, when you're not uh, on the other side of the desk, she'll be like, Hey! Be a professional! Sorry to be a wet blanket! Whatever that means. Uh, yeah, we'll be your assistants. I know you asked us like two episodes ago, but we totally are not, we're not ignoring you at all. So, uh, shot collection. There's two basic steps to, uh, reaping the rewards from the side quest. First of all, you have to hit camera blocks. We've actually seen one of these before in Pillow Castle, but we couldn't access it until now because there was a person directly under it. But, uh, now that we actually are starting the side quest, he should be gone. We'll actually be backtracking both to Pillow Castle and Pillow Blimpport to get some of these to complete in this episode. So, uh, basically, as we're traveling throughout the world, we'll find these camera blocks. There should be roughly one in every single area. We hit the camera blocks, and from there, we'll get a snapshot, we bring it back to her, and then we uh, have to do a certain mini game in order to reap the rewards of these things. So, uh, basically, we go ahead, we hit the block, we get the, uh, a shot from each block, then we bring it back to Kylie, and we have a bit of a mini game to play. So, uh, the rewards from this are not stellar. You're not going to get any cool equipment or anything, but you'll get you'll get something interesting, basically. And you'll also get a bit of extra coins. So, hey, those coins add up. We're going to want these coins as many coins as possible, like I said, for all the really expensive endgame equipment. So, this only helps. Really can't complain about that. So, uh... The camera block basically decrypts, or it encrypts all the photos, so we have to decrypt them. Which sounds a little weird, but basically what this boils down to is a mini game, like I think I mentioned before, that we saw in Bowser's Inside Story. We should be fairly familiar with it. It is the, well, we'll go ahead and get to it, puzzle screen. So this is basically the Jigsaw Puzzle mini game for Bowser's Inside Story. Each, each uh, photo we'll find will have three different levels. After we complete all three levels, we get a decent reward for each one, and I'll still do them all anyway. It's a cool little mini game. You get decent rewards for it. I wouldn't say good. It's not gonna be like the Mad Skillathon or the Trade Quest rewards, which were absolutely phenomenal for you know the point in time that we're at. But it still is rewards that will add up, so. Use your stylus to basically drag them to uh, the thing. You can use the little button on the bottom to rotate your uh, pieces as well to make them fit, and otherwise you complete the puzzle, you have a target time of three minutes for level one puzzles, and it'll be later on for harder puzzles. Basically, the, the cool thing of the puzzles is each uh, level of the puzzle will give you more of the overall shot to work with. So now, right now we only have a close-up of Starlow, but once we get to level three, it'll actually be the entire shot that we have to do, and the puzzle will be a lot bigger too, so we'll go ahead and take care of all three puzzles in this episode, as well as, you know, actually getting the puzzle blocks and visiting Eldream, and that'll be kind of the wrap of the first side quest episode. So, uh, welcome to puzzles, guys. We're gonna be spending a nice chill episode for the rest of this, solving some puzzles, just like Professor Layton. He'd be very proud of us. And we'll get, a uh, about 400 coins per shot as well as the final reward for each one. So, it's worth it in the end. 
we'll just go ahead and have a good puzzly time today. And, uh... From there, we'll be good to go. So, uh, obviously, like most Jigsaw puzzles, using the, uh... Using the ability to have, uh... The edges and the corners is always a good start. But the other thing that really helps in these puzzles is just, you know, look at the characters. The characters are definitely the most helpful part of this. Uh, you can really use all the faces and whatnot to align a good portion of each puzzle, and in the end, it makes your life weird this way. Her f that wasn't a foot, that was a lamp. I thought that was a foot. It confused the heck out of me. And as we just go on through these puzzles, we'll, uh... I don't know, they're just chill sorts of things. We get very similar rewards, and this is going to be kind of spoilers of what's going to happen, but we're going to get very similar rewards to what we got in the Bowser's Inside Story puzzles. They didn't really give us anything important with equipment or anything, but they got us something pretty cool in the end. And hey, like I said, money is money. I will not complain about extra money. So every time you complete a puzzle, it'll save the clear time, but it won't save your game. So make sure you always do a normal save, even though it says save game, it doesn't really count. So, uh... No, we're not going to head back. We're going to... Well, you can kind of press B to back out and talk to her. But no, we're going to complete all these Wakeport puzzles first. As you can see, by the way, there's a lot of puzzles. Basically, each shot will have three new puzzles. So uh, we have a target time of four minutes. But as you can see, the puzzle is fairly bigger now. And uh, we will have a lot more to do. As you can see, though, they don't really take that long. We can use the faces to easily get a few uh, of these just... Most of the ones we're going to be able to get pretty close to right away. I think this actually is over here, yeah. So yeah, complete the f any of the phases you see, you can easily complete uh, based on, you know, what you see. I know this is Mario's arm, so it's over here in this corner. Uh, Mario's face is over here. It's another part of his arm. Looks like it's uh, the one over here. And we just kind of complete it, so on and so forth. If these start taking, like, a very ridiculously long time, I might implement some sort of speed up of sorts. But I don't think these take too long, and I mean, you have been warned that this is a side quest episode. If you were expecting something that wasn't side quests today, then you were sorely mistaken. And we'll be getting back to the main plot very soon, and once we get back to the main plot, we'll be at it for quite some time. So, uh, this will be the last of side questy stuff for a bit. And like I said, the Mad Skillathon and the train quests actually are relevant. Uh, the, the Mad Skillathon in particular is extremely good. So, I mean, I'm, I'm like totally hyping this up a ton, but it really is, you know, it really is good. The reward you get from that is gonna be an item that we're gonna be using for quite some time. So, these side quests are worth it in the long run. This is probably gonna be a long episode considering these puzzles are taking a while, but that's okay. I'm gonna do all these puzzles until they're done. It's just going to be a thing that we do. So let's do the final puzzle of each set, as you can see, is a massive ordeal. So uh, we'll just have to kind of do these. In fact, I, what I might do in the future for the rest of these puzzles, I might do speed up and post commentary. That is something I'm definitely thinking about doing. Uh, instead of doing live commentary for these puzzles, just putting it like double speed doing post commentary. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Depends on really how long these take. They don't take terribly long, but they all add up. Although that being said, once we get to the point where, you know, we just have a lot of puzzles to do right away. In the future, we're just going to be doing like one puzzle at a time, so it's not going to be too terrible. It's definitely an annoying side quest, but it is unfortunately one that we need to do for 100%. I know this game is going slow, but, uh, is kind of the necessity of this game. It's a slow game. It's definitely the slowest of the Mario RPGs so far, uh, for better or worse. I mean, people generally do seem to like their RPGs being, you know, having a significant amount of content. And this, de this game definitely does compared to its predecessors, but whether or not that is a good thing or a bad thing, that is entirely, I suppose, up to opinion. Anyway, we'll just continue to do these puzzles. This is... It's really hard to commentate over these puzzles as well, I will be perfectly honest in admitting. Because, well... There's not really much to do, except put puzzle pieces in their places. Come on, I know you're there. There we go. And go from there. So the post-commentary option for the remainder of these puzzles is definitely a tempting uh, proposal, which I may 
in fact, do. For this does not make the best of commentary. I can talk about other stuff in the meantime, I suppose. Uh, I've already kind of did my rant last episode about how Majora's Mask, aka the game I'm playing nonstop these days, I'm probably going to have it beat in a few days, uh, is freaking amazing, and I highly recommend anyone to go get it. But, I mean, that's just stuff I've already talked about. It's not really very exciting. Once you get to this point, by the way, your best option is to uh, obviously use the uh, walls to make things slightly easier. I know this one kind of goes over here. Looks like it rotates this way. No, this way. Yeah, there we go. And then two more pieces left. Uh, this goes over here. This goes... Oh, there, I was like, where's the other piece? Uh, this piece goes here. Definitely goes here. I see... It, no, it, you, you, you're lying to me. There you go. You get in there. You like it! You get in there and you like it. Anyway, once you get all three of these done, you get a bean. But you don't get just get a normal bean. You get a bean DX. As in Lucky 7 DX. But that actually stands for Deluxe, so technically my name is Lucky 7 Deluxe. And what these beans do, these special, special Deluxe beans, uh, they will give you three stat points instead of one. So, very cool how that works. Uh, so yeah, three points of speed instead of one. So I can just go to Mario here and I'd be like, hey, look at the fighter wear, by the way. The fighter wear has made it so that Luigi right now has two speed. Poor Luigi. We are slow as molasses right now. So the next step is then to go get these camera blocks and uh, the ones that are scattered around the world that we've been to so far that we can access and doing those puzzles now. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the, the footage and we're going to visit Eldream first. So I'll meet you guys when we go see uh, good old Eldream and say hello to him. Eldream! I have more pillows for you! Well, technically I'm not giving you the pillows, but I rescued them. You can just take my word for it. I'm not a liar. Would a plumber lie to you? No. So, uh, 18 pillows will be this reward. And all it ends up being is the birthday ring. Basically, acts is similar to the, how the birthday hammer works in the fact that it'll boost stats when we have, uh, when it's our birthday. So not until August 7th will I be able to access the powers of this ring. But that's okay. I still love you, game. So the birthday ring will basically increase your chances of lucky hits. So I could put this with the lucky gloves on Luigi, and he'll crit like so often it won't be, even be funny. Although only on our birthday. So uh, give him the birthday hammer. Well, he already has the birthday hammer, and things will go crazy. Anyway, let's go get those camera blocks. I'll meet you guys first in Pillow Castle, and then uh, we'll head from there to Pillow Blimport and get both these camera blocks. It'll be cool. You know what? While we're on the way here, I can actually use these enemies to get the expert challenge for uh, the Bye Bye Cannon. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. Uh, let me just focus to make sure I get the memorization correct here. So the memory is A, A, B, A, B, B. So Ab, Ab, so the, whatever. A, A, B, A, B, B. And then reverse. B, B, A, B, A, A. Huzzah! We've done it! So if that excellent, we'll get the expert challenge taken care of. And, uh... Life is good. Counterattack for 73 damage! We've truly scaled our stats from the early days. That's not gonna make a difference in our experience. We're pretty close to leveling up, but we won't really be leveling up until we head to, uh... The... Next section of games. Which, as you can imagine, will be Dreaming Wakeport, but... The reasons for why they had Dream Wakeport, well, we'll be seeing that when we get there. Anyway, I guess I'll keep uh, talking since I'm already at Pillow Castle and just show you where to go from Pillow Castle specifically, just to, as a refresher as to where the camera block was. After all, uh, we did pass it once before, but that was a long time ago. So, I had hello, coughing. Uh, my throat is like 99% better, but. As you can see, not 100%. It's still... I, I, I have lingering cough syndrome. Oops, I shouldn't have fallen down here because it's actually up over here. That is where the camera block is. The guy is now gone. We can get our snapshot and move on. Now, we can't get the one in Mushrise Park uh, or the desert yet. The desert one, we haven't even seen that location yet. It's in a location we can't access yet. And the one in Mushrise Park we've seen, but we do not have the field abilities to actually get to where it is. So, 
that's actually one we're not going to get to until very much later in the game, ironically of all things, so... Oh well, I guess we... Hello, Peach. Bye, Peach. Well, we'll get those when we can get those, basically, but we can't for now. Only as long as we can access our Pillow Castle, and Pillow Blimport does indeed have one. So, make sure you head there as well, which we will do right now. And uh, then we will head back to Kylie, and I think, given especially how long this episode, this episode has been so far, we are going to... I'm going to speed up and do post-commentary lucky, because post-commentary lucky will be able to make much more interesting conversation over these puzzles, and I'll be able to speed up t times two. So it's not so lengthy an endeavor. So we'll probably be doing Speed Up Lucky. And uh, we'll, we'll have a nice pleasant talk. But we'll be doing that. Uh, we'll actually have some post-commentary fun going on there. I think that's I think that's generally going to be the better plan for these puzzles. Which I'll try to do them when I get them when they're available. But uh, they'll be in sort of extra side questy episodes like this. But there we go. The Pillow Blumport shot's over here where we first had that quiz game. Now we're going to make the long jump back to Wakeport, and I believe, uh, unless I change my mind or something different happens, post-commentary Lucky will be meeting you guys there. Oops! May have ended up in battle on the way there accidentally. Is this going to level me up? It is going to level me up, so I guess we'll throw this level up in before I, uh, go to post-commentary, potentially. So I do believe HP is not going to be very good right now, power is not going to be very good right now, defense isn't going to be really good right now, BP isn't really necessary, so I guess we'll just give some points, well actually you know what, for Mar- you know what, oh actually BP actually can give us 5, is there- no that was, there's no 5 there. BP or speed? That is a tough question, I don't really value speed very highly though, so we're going to give Mario the BP. I think that's the, the best game plan right now. So there we go, a little bit of extra BP for Mario, and we'll give Luigi the stash though anyway, and uh, we will go from there. I think that's the game plan I'm going to do, because speed, especially in hard mode, it's so hard to outspeed enemies anyway, and it almost makes more things more, in more convenient for expert challenges. Anyway, I'm going to head back to Kylie's, like I said, probably going to speed out the rest of, this, of the footage up and we'll post commentary the rest of this. Alright, and we're back. With a brand new recording, actually, I decided to just restart the recording just in case I decide to speed up this footage and put post commentary on it. So, uh, I probably will be doing that just because the whole uh, puzzles thing, as you saw in the first ones, they take forever. So, probably from now on, I'll be post commentary this, but I'll record live commentary anyway, just on the off chance that, you know, I do keep this in. It's not as painful as I expect it to be. But basically, we have six more puzzles to do, which we'll quickly speed through in this episode. And that'll be all for now. We'll get more Bean DXs. Basically, every time we do one of these, a set of these, we'll get a whole new Bean DX. So another three, three stat points per doing puzzles. Yeah, not the greatest reward in the world, but it's still pretty cool. So at this point, post commentary will take over if that's what I'm choosing to do. And if not, then you're stuck with me! <laughs> wow! It's post commentary lucky after all! Oh goodness! So I kind of figured uh, that one set of really slow puzzles would be good enough, and I figured I'd just speed up uh, this entire thing by times three, as I suspected I would be doing. Uh, because really, you don't need 14 minutes of just non-stop puzzles in a 39 minute long video, that kind of seems like not a very fun time. I'm basically taking this from 14 minutes to roughly 5 minutes. Because it, took, it takes roughly 7 minutes to do each puzzle, so it turns out. So, uh, I figure I'll keep the first one in the regular speed, just to have, you know, one indication of just how slow the normal pace of puzzles are, and how one does these puzzles normally, but otherwise, doing a speed-up sort of section like this really doesn't take away from anything, because you can still see the basic strategy that I'm doing, how I'm doing the characters first and whatnot, and what for, and it's it's really just no, it's really no uh, sort of, it's, it's perfectly fine to do things like this, I think, because you're not missing anything, you're just seeing me rotate blocks and you're seeing my basic strategies, you know, like I said, I pretty much do the characters first, uh, then the edges next, and then whatever things kind of don't stick out, like, say, the sky in this picture. I do that last. By the way, I just want to point out, I didn't notice this at first, uh, Mario's eyes in this picture. Holy crap, if he looks cross-eyed and weird, like, one eye is way bigger than the other eye, and that's, I cannot unsee that anymore, that's just disturbing. That doesn't even look remotely correct, but that's okay. We also have those weird trumpet guys in the corner. They just look disturbing, they look like deformed yellow sniffets sort of creepy, but uh, and the, this is Luigi Pass Out. This is basically when we first departed from Pillow Blimport, which then begs the question of who is taking our pictures? Who has been stalking us? 
just, you know, sitting here taking pictures of us at random, because we'll be in all these pictures. It's a little disturbing. I mean, these care blocks are there in place before, but and this, the care block was even there when we first went to Blimport. Who's taking it? Kylie, are you stalking us? But as you can see, first set of puzzles done. Heart being DX is our reward. Now let's do the castle ones quickly. And isn't this just so much better than 14 minutes of me having to just say, all right, we're gonna put up the, the puzzle here. We're gonna do Mario's face. Old Mr. Brokes kind of in the corner though. They're looking weird. As you can see, for this one, I start for all of these. I'm gonna do the portal last, just because the portal is really weird to find the right pieces, because it's you know just a mishmash of colors as opposed to you know the characters, which are much easier to do. So I'm, as you can see, I'm always starting the characters. Seems like I always go with Peach first, but that's just sort of the thing. And we're gonna go with Luigi's weird hat and weird shaped nose. Like the perspective on Luigi's really weird as well. Does this nose really stick out that much? It's just it just looks wrong almost. But uh, we also had, I love Mr. Brooks just being like, wow! Uh, but I like, a, just Luigi's hat's perspective is so weird, too. There's just something about that that seems off. But as you can see, we just kind of do the portal last here, and it's a fairly simple process. So from now on, like I said, I'll pretty much do all of these puzzles in this sort of fashion where it's, you know, not really, it's just going to be sped up and not a complicated process after all. Okay, I guess Luigi looks a bit better. The perspective still looks a little weird on Luigi, even in this one. Can't tell if Mario's still cross-eyed or not, but good old Toadsworth's there as well. It's just the whole gang's here, so it's pretty much a very simple, basic process. It's there's really there's really not much to explain. So from now on, I'll speed this up. That way, you can see you know my basic strategies for solving the puzzle. As you can see, time isn't remotely an issue. I've been solving all of these of more than half the time to spare, so it's not really very difficult. We just sort of do these puzzles, we get the rewards, we move forward. So. I think post commentary is the way to go. I did my one session. And then we'll just sort of have, like, each time we'll just have a couple minutes of just post commentary lucky discussion. Haven't you missed me? I haven't done post commentary and things in forever. This is, like, old school lucky back in, like, Bowser's Inside Story and the other Mario RPGs. It's just kind of funny that we go to that. Anyway, we should be wrapping up my section soon, so we'll be getting a reward. It'll be, I believe, a Bro Bean DX. And, uh, take it away, Live Lucky. Go do it. Save the world! That takes care of all of the puzzles so far. Every one of these other puzzles we will have to get at some other later point in time. But today is not that day. So the last thing we're going to do, and I suppose uh, at this point, live commentary lucky has taken over if I injected post commentary lucky in there. I'm still not sure. Uh, we have a heart bean DX, three bro bean DXs, and, uh, or th three bro beans and a bro bean DX. I'm going to go ahead and give the heart bean DX to... I don't, uh, I'm gonna give it to Mario, just because, just because he's the one who has to deal with the dream world, so it makes sense to sort of give a little bit of love to him. And then Bro Beans, I will assess the, uh, BP situation, because the BP has to be very, it, there's, there's so easy to get extra BP left over in, uh, situations in the dream world where you have such high BP costs, that in the end, it doesn't really necessarily, uh, Basically, in the end, you know, I'm gonna use the be just enough bro beans on Mario so that he has exact numbers that'll come in handy, as opposed to having extra things over. So I'll do the BP once we assess the situation. Come uh, when we head into the Dream World, but that won't happen next episode. Next episode, we do the trading quest and the Mad Skillathon. Wrap up these side quests of Wakeports. This is Lucky7DX signing out. See you guys then. Bye bye.